Hello, trumpet enthusiasts and early music nerds. My name is Julian Zimmermann, and this video series is about the history of the trumpet. In this video, I will talk about the main use of the Baroque natural trumpet. Of course, no one would have called it a natural trumpet at that time. In the 18th century, it was called trumpet, trompet, tromba, or trompete, while in the 17th century the names trumet and trombetta were used as well. Even though clarino is basically a description of the high register of the instrument, it is often used synonymous with the word trumpet. If we have a closer look at the instruments in the museums, we see the simplicity of the design. Basically it is just tubing, beginning with a mouthpiece and ending with a bell. Nothing else. This fact has two main consequences. First, the instrument is quite restricted to the notes of the harmonic series. Second, it can be played one-handed, and this was quite important for the main duty of the trumpet players. Actually, a very little part of the trumpeters in the 17th and 18th century ever played music. Most of them were field trumpeters, or Feldtrompeter, which means their job was to play signals from the back of a horse, often while being shot at at the same time. In this short example, you can hear how well the natural trumpet sound projects in open air. The distance is around 200 meters. And yes, it was snowing at the time. What you just heard were the first two couplets of the Boutesel, written down by André Donican Philidor Lenné in the year 1705. Even though the title Boutesel or Portesel means bring the saddles, Altenburg states in his school that it was mainly a signal to encourage the troops before battle. Different versions of that signal were used during the whole 18th century and still in the year 1813 Beethoven used it for the provocation and acceptation in his Opus 91, Wellington's Sieg oder die Schlacht von Vittoria. Interestingly, Beethoven is using the same signal for the French and the English, with the only difference of the tonality, having the natural trumpet in C representing the French and E-flat for the English side. In the next video, we are going to have a closer look at the incredible Girolamo Fantini and his trumpet school, Modo per imparare a suonare di tromba. If you liked this video, please... Subscribe, share and give a like.